Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG playthrough. And this time we are trying out the Elves of Lorien starter deck against the Journey Along the Anduin scenario. Uh, this pre-built deck doesn't include any of the deck building option cards that come in the pack. I am trying this uh, straight out of the bo box and seeing how that functions in in uh, this scenario. Um, the pack comes with this handy booklet that tells you what is the uh, play style of the deck. Ma mainly it is to uh, trigger these when comes into play or leads play effects that the cards have by getting them into play with these events and stuff like that. Also the um, heroes are uh, of, of three different uh, spheres of influence. So we have uh, spirit, leadership, and lore. So let's first quickly look at Galadriel. So Galadriel uh, has the text uh, Galadriel cannot attack, uh, quest, attack, or defend. Unless you control, do not exhaust to commit to quest during the round they enter play. So that triggers the en en enters play on them. So want to play allies that then can quest uh, and then also fight and defend etc. Action, exhaust Galadriel to choose a player that player re reduces their threat by one and draws one card, limit once per round. So Galadriel is a strong uh, four willpower hero but cannot do anything herself. Then we have Celeborn. Celeborn's response is after a Sylvanian ally enters play that ally gets plus one willpower, plus one combat power, and plus one defense power until the end of the round. So again, when uh, allies enter play, they are boosted by Celeborn for that round. Then lastly, we have Haldir of Lorien. So Haldir has ranged and also combat action. If you have not engaged an enemy this round, exhaust Haldir of Lorien to declare him as an attacker and resolve his attack against an enemy not engaged with you limit once per round. I understand that, uh, I, as I understand this, it also affects enemies in the staging area. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that is how I'm playing it, uh, as I understand the rules. So, those were the heroes, and we have set up the scenario. Uh, without further delay, let's get started. <laughs> So we are ready to begin. I will first uh, set up the game uh, the, or the scenario and we will flip one card from here. Uh, when revealed, for, uh, remove four progress tokens. So we won't add that to the staging area, but we still get the troll. So there is one hill troll that is in play. Uh, we start with 29 threat on the dial so that hill troll won't engage us yet and we might just actually want to use Galadriel to lower our threat to keep below 30 until we are ready to deal with the troll. So we'll just quickly shuffle the encounter deck and we are ready to draw our opening hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We are looking for, well, we really want Galadriel's ring but we'll see. We didn't get it. I actually think I will want to hard mulligan for that. So I will, and the hand wasn't that good anyway. So we are uh, shuffling the whole deck and uh, seeing what we get. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and. Uh, we get Host of Color Dream, a Test of Will, Nenia, which we wanted to find. Uh, then we have Orofin and uh, Faint Voices and Sylvain Tracker. Okay, so uh, why I really wanted Nenia is that it is an artifact ring attached to Galadriel. She gains a lore resource icon. Quest action Exhaust Nenia and Galadriel to add her willpower to any character's uh, willpower until the end of the phase. So now we can utilize 
uh, Galadriel's high willpower of four, and also she can play um, lore cards. And yeah, so we are starting. Uh, we'll go to the refresh phase. We'll draw a card. We get Galadriel's Sandmaiden, and we gain resources, and we can start playing. So. First off, I think I want to play Nenia, but it is a um, neutral card, so any one of these heroes can pay for it. Just thinking... Um, so I'll play it with... Mm, hard choices. I played with uh, Haldir, so we put it on to Galadriel. Then um, we really can't play anything else, but we have a test of will just in case for the uh, encounter phase. If we draw something nasty. So, um, now we'll go to the quest phase, but I'm thinking, should I actually just lower the threat by one? This round, nothing gets the draw. Yeah, we'll take a risk. So, I am not using Nenya, but I am exhausting Galadriel to choose a player. That player reduces their threat by one and draws one card, so I'll reduce the threat by one, draw a card. Another Sylvanian Tracker. Then uh, we will quest with Celeborn. And uh, I think that is it. So we are uh, three against one. And uh, we get the works. Of course, we do. So the works are really an annoying. So if works is dealt a shadow card with no effect, return works into the staging area after it attacks. So this will be annoying. So we are three against three, so zero. We won't advance this uh, at all. But that's okay. We'll go to the encounter phase. So these works will engage us. And. Uh, I, I think I'm defending with Haldir because uh, we are have been engaged with an enemy. We can't use Haldir's combat action to uh, shoot the works. So uh, we'll go to the combat phase. Oh yeah, we skip the travel phase because there's nowhere to travel. Oh, yeah, this should be flipped, which tells us to put the troll in play. So yeah, we we'll have to do that. So we need eight progress to advance this. So the work hits. Yeah, I'm just defending. So the work hits for three damage plus no shadow effect. So we get two damage on here and the works go back, which is really annoying. But it is what it is. So that is the combat phase done. We don't have anyone to attack with, so we ready up and add one threat to the dial. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We start by drawing a card. Another host of the Galadrim. Really won't, don't want to see those at the start because they are too costly and we can't utilize them at all yet. But they're ready in our hand if we get to play them. Okay. So I am immediately going to play Galatriel's Handmaiden to lower my threat by one. And uh, I think well, we could quest with her, but I don't know if that's really okay. We could do some 
Cheeky stuff with the uh, feigned voices, so return a silver and ally con you control to your hand, choose an enemy engaged player that enemy cannot attack that player this phase. So that will stop the works from fleeing, which will let us defeat them. So I'm actually uh, questing and using Galadriel to add Four. So I'm six versus three, and that is everything. We don't want to play anything else at this point. Oh yeah, we're seven versus three because uh, Celeborn boosts this ally. So seven versus three, another work. So we're really getting unlucky with these works. Okay, so seven versus five, we still progress to here, then these enemies will engage us and yeah this is so annoying mm. so these get, get dealt uh, cards and I will stop the other from attacking, so this returns in your hand. Just discard this, and it would have had a shadow effect, but it is what it is. So the other one... We'll just have to take it. This is so hard. So, nothing happens, and it deals 3 damage, and we'll put it on Galadriel. Then it goes back, but we can defeat at least this work by attacking, and we ready up. We add one to the threat dial. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We draw a card. Uh, we get uh, Dyron's runes. Draw two cards, then discard one card from the hand. I think I will be playing that. We'll gain resources. First off, in the planning phase, I'll play this to draw two cards. Discard one card from my hand, I will discard. Yeah. Discard that. Well, um, let's see. Um, Okay, so I will play not Nate Guard. So now I'll say Celeborn doesn't have to exhaust quest. Then I will play. Well, I can't play her. I will play Color Dream Mistral. I look the top five cards on my deck. And uh, we search for an event, then shuffle the other cards back into the deck. And uh, no, no events, of course, there isn't. We have some healing cards in the deck, so I'm hoping to draw at least some of those soon enough. So I can start healing our heroes who have been taking excess damage here so um, I think that is everything we want to play in the planning phase we have we have a bunch of allies but really need the Sylvan and tracker in play soon but it is what it is we'll go to the questing phase I will Quest with Celeborn, Exhaust, Galadriel, or should I? I could actually use Galadriel to lower my threat so we don't still need to handle with Troll next round, so I'm actually doing that. So 
Uh, Galadriel will draw us a card and lower our threat by one. Gandalf, well, we need resources. Doesn't help us a lot. Uh, this doesn't have fight, so we'll quest with her and Celeborn. So we are four versus three. And uh, we draw a card. And it is the brown lands. Well, that sucks because now. Over three, so we lose by six. We are 34. So now the troll engages us this round. So we'll travel here. It gets a progress token and goes away. Uh, I'm really annoyed with that game about now, but it is what it is. Mm, yeah, this engages me. So I will defend against the troll. I will take the dog as it is. So actually, this was plus one because it's Celeborn, so we are at 33. Okay, so we deal Shadow cards. I'll defend with Celeborn against. Well, I really want to kill the wargs. This is so annoying. Okay, I, I have to defend. I can't risk it. Well, we'll see. Uh, the war hits us no shadow effect, so we'll take one damage with our uh, Celeborn. It returns there. Uh, the troll hits that ally, no shadow effect. We are defense one because of Celeborn, so we uh, get overkilled by five. And that is it. We ready up. And we add one threat, so we are at 39. And we have this troll on us already. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We start by drawing a card. Defender of Night. Um, we get resources. We will play um, that ally. We lower our threat by one. And there is nothing else we can play. So we'll go to the quest phase and we will quest with this ally. We'll add Galadrim to the questing. So 7 versus 4. Uh, yeah, actually 7 versus 2 plus 7. One versus four, we add three here. Then all of these engage me, so I'm pretty much dead here. Can't defend against all of these. So I'll defend against the troll. I'll defend against the this one, and I'll defend against this one. We are slowly dying to these enemies, but it is what it is. We are just getting so unlucky with the encounter deck that I can't even believe it. Mm, we'll uh, deal shadow cards to these. We'll start with the troll. So the troll hits uh, for attacking enemy gets plus one void, plus three instead it is undefended. So seven versus zero. Uh, this takes one. So we add six here. We have 44, so nearly dead. And then this work 
And of course there's no shadow effect, so it hits for 2 damage, killing Aldir. Goes away. On top of that then Celeborn. Uh, so this gets actually 2 shadow cards. So other one doesn't have an effect, but the second one has, so... Defending player chooses and returns one exhausted ally they control to its owner's hand. If they control no exhausted allies, face their turn. Okay, so this turns into a hand. So this hits for three against defense of two, so we take one damage. That is it. We ready up. Uh, we add one to the threat. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add resources. And counter co oh, oh, I mean, the, we got one card. So. Well, we'll. Uh, there is nothing much to do. We'll play one. No, we'll play. No, no, we can't. We'll play this defender. We leave the one resource so we can uh, play a test of will if we need to. Uh, let's see. There's nothing for us to do. I'll just draw a card and lower my threat so we we'll get that. 44 really doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go to. We skip the travel phase, we go to uh, encounter phase. So. Oh, yeah, no, we actually have to quest first. So, questing. Gladden fields. Okay, we'll travel out there. So we're zero against five, we are at forty-nine. Travel there and uh, these are engaged, this will engage us. We'll get well, we'll defend against the troll, we'll defend against the works. This will just hit something. We deal shadow cards. I'll start with the troll. So the troll hits us for. We don't have. We we have an exhausted ally, so this goes away. So the troll misses. Okay, so we don't lose the threat yet, but the works will get uh, plus three, uh, plus two, so five, so how, uh, Celeborn is dead. And this last guy will deal damage, no shadow effect, but Galadriel is dead, so we are, our fellowship is defeated and we lose the game. So that was a brutal game for the elves. Uh, I have played this scenario with this deck uh, once before off camera, while well, I was uh, getting familiar with the cards in the deck, we actually got in that scenario uh, or that playthrough to the last quest or the, the three B quest. So we managed to defeat the troll. We managed to get the um, second quest completed, but we lost in the third because we had uh, too many enemies in play and we deal with those but in that game I got a really good start I got a bunch of allies into play fast and was able to manage manage the enemies in the early game but we got overrun in the late game but this this went uh, a bit poorly well still this went better than the Gondor deck did 
So, can't say. I, I enjoyed playing this deck as true solo. It has quite a lot of options, of course, because it's a three sphere of influence deck. Uh, you might get unlucky and not draw some of the cards you need in different situations, but uh, it is what it is with these kinds of uh, three sphere decks. Um, still, uh, this is a fine um, starter deck to play, and I think all of these starter decks are better if you are playing two-player or two-handed, but I'm uh, trying to experience the true, slo true solo experience with these decks to see if these decks are functional in those, but maybe with some deck building I can better than to be able to defeat these scenarios, but still, hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching, and until next time.